Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Happy Friday, Calvary. This is Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, we're in 2 Samuel 23, and uh, we're talking about David. Still, you know, David was the greatest king of Israel. He was the ancestor of Jesus. Uh, he was a man after God's own heart. But can I just tell, let you know that David didn't achieve all this alone? He relied on God, yes. I mean, but after he killed Goliath, mighty men rallied to David and wanted to be part of his kingdom. They wanted to be part of what he was building. And uh, in 2 Samuel 23, uh, verses 8 through 12, actually the whole second half of the chapter, tell us about these mighty men. I just want to share a snippet. It said, these are the names of the mighty men whom David had. Joshua Bashabeth, a Tachmanite, he was chief of the three. He wielded his spear against 800 whom he killed at one time. That's pretty impressive. And next to him among the three mighty men was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, son of ah Ahohi. He was with David when they defied the Philistines who were gathered there for battle. And the men of Israel withdrew and he rose and struck down the Philistines until his hand was weary and his hand clung to the sword, literally got cramped onto the sword. Uh, and the Lord brought about a great victory that day and the men returned after him only to strip the slain. And next to him was Shammah, the son of Agi, the Herorite. The Philistines gathered together at Lehi, where there was a plot of ground full of lentils, and the men fled from the Philistines. But he took his stand in the midst of the plot and defended it and struck down the Philistines, and the Lord worked a great victory. Now, the, the passage goes on to list uh, the names of 30 more guys who are great men of God who stood with David. Uh, and these were great warriors, incredibly loyal to David. And they stood with him through thick and thin, through the rebellions, through the victories, all of it. They were with David. So what can we learn? What, what does that mean to us? I mean, most of us don't have a group of mighty men around us who have killed 800 people. That might freak us out. So that, here's some things that really are important to us. First of all, we need community. Every single one of us needs community. We need people around us who will fight with us and for us. You know, people around us who will cheer us on as we follow Jesus. By the way, that's why I'm a huge fan of life groups. If you're not in a life group, then I'd encourage you to, to check it out in the fall when we have life group signups because it's life-changing to be in a life group. Second thing is, we aren't called to serve Jesus alone. None of us are called to be the lone ranger. Uh, even David, you know, the mighty man David had his mighty men around him. Look, all of us need help. We need different gifts. We need different uh, help. We need accountability. All of that is built in to community. And then finally, can I just tell you that victory is better with friends? Uh, celebration is sweeter. Sorrow is shared. And uh, we need those people in our life that can do that. So isolation and loneliness are not from God. They didn't serve David. David didn't go that way. We don't need to lean that way either. We need the body of Christ. We need each other. So I just urge you to connect. I already told you life group signups are a couple months away, but summer life is about a month away. Why don't you plan on being there for that? Connect, meet some people, invite them into your life to help you follow Jesus. What about Celebrate Recovery? Monday nights at our Sweetwater campus, 630. You can come and connect with people who are seeking God and trying to get their lives better than they are right now. Uh, what about just joining one of our ministry teams? Sign up to be a greeter, volunteer for children's ministry or student ministry, uh, offer to serve on the tech team or security team. There's so many ways you can get involved here at Calvary that connect you to people and you can be part of something that's bigger than you and you don't have to do it alone. Uh, there's a lot of options. Uh, David had his mighty men. I, I love having a team around me that, that helps me be better. Uh, it'll make you better too. So I hope that blesses you and I hope you'll take action to connect. Have a great day.